comfortable composite toe safety boots and work boots and how do we choose these? So a lot of the times when we're choosing a work boot, we focus on the protective features, which is great because we need to protect our feet at work. However, just because the work boot protects our feet doesn't mean that it's going to be a comfortable work boot and won't strain our legs. So the features we look for for a comfortable work boot are a little bit different to what we look for in a protective work boot. So it's important to have all the protection features so we don't damage our feet on, on the work site. Uh, but the next thing we need to look for is we need to make sure that we don't damage our feet from overuse injuries on the work site also. So, and it's not as obvious that the injuries we get from overuse, um, they're not as obvious as, as a ballistic injury, say uh, like a crush injury or a sprained ankle. However, the overuse injuries will put you out of work just as often as the uh, ballistic injuries or the, the, the violent injuries for your feet um, because they'll cause you to get things like heel pain, shin pain, um, metatarsal stress fractures, and you'll get to the point where you can't actually walk on, across the job site because you've injured your feet with an overuse injury. So it's very, very similar to how we choose a running shoe. Uh, we need to, the, our composite toe boots to support our feet and we need them to, be, them to be adjustable so as the leathers and everything stretch, they can be adjusted to the feet. But the things we look for when we're choosing a comfortable composite toe work boot or a work shoe is where does it bend? So it's exactly the same as when we're choosing a running shoe. So where does it bend? And it should only bend through where the big toe bends. Um, does it flex and twist too much? And we don't want it to flex and twist too much, so that's really quite difficult to flex. And this boot in particular is the Ergonics Elements uh, Helium boot. And basically this one's got a shank through the middle so it'll stop it from twisting. And it's also got a, uh, a hard sole or board sole there as well, um, to, or stiff boards rather, to help to prevent it from twisting as well. So it's got the shank and the stiff board in the, in the sole. Um, the other things we look for, it's got this, um, you can see here the, the shock absorbing midsole, so it's like a running shoe. It's got this midsole that runs all the way down and you can actually feel that that's actually quite soft and particularly in the high impact area of the heel. Uh, and then we've got this harder outsole. So we've got this hard wearing outsole and this sort of midsole through here that's solid yet shock absorbing. So it won't wear out too quickly but it also is it's not too hard and won't cause too much impact through the feet. So where does it bend? doesn't twist too much, it's got a shock absorbing midsole, so that'll help a, a lot to keep your foot um, uh, cushioned as you're impacting the ground. The other thing we look for is we need to make sure that under the sole, the, the forefoot to rear foot alignment are on the same plane. So if we have a look here, this plane and this plane, the bottom of the boot is actually flat. Um, in some of the cheaper boots, you'll find that the insole is twisted and that as the boot hits the ground, it makes your foot roll in. And the last thing we look for is, does it have an arch support insole? So if we put a nice arch support cushioned insole, you can see that it's cushioned in one, two, three positions. This one's a different color because it's an anti-static poron. Um, what it does, it supports and cushions your feet and it means that your feet will work less hard over the work day. Uh, and when your feet work less hard, they ache less and they get less overuse injuries. So overuse injuries are things like plantar fasciitis, tendonitis, um, ligament strains, stress fractures, stress reactions, and they'll just cause general aching and pain in the feet across the work day. And they usually get worse the more you use them. Um, so they're the features we look for when we're choosing a comfortable composite toe work boot. If you tr apply these to your work shoes yourself, um, and you'll see that the boots that are very functional, so have all these features, will be the comfortable boots, and the ones that aren't uh, won't be the most comfortable boots, and they'll cause more strain on your feet and legs across the workday. Hope this helps. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's really simple to do, and it really does help out our channel. If you need more information on the topics discussed, you can find some links in the description where they'll take you to our website where we can discuss this in a little bit more detail. If you have a specific question that you'd like answered, please comment in the comment section below and we'll do our best to make a video to address your question. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.